It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturge has found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. What's this secret way in? He's been analyzing that data you brought back. Turns out, it included maps of their whole underground complex. He found some old tunnel that's still open to the surface. Cooling water for their reactor, I think. I figured you can get in that way and secure the teleporter, then use it to bring in the rest of our troops. We fight our way to their reactor, fix it to blow, and get the hell out of there. Do we have enough troops for the assault? Yes, I think we do now. Enough to fight our way to the reactor, which is all we need. Get the details from Sturgis. I'll make sure the Minutemen are standing by to teleport into the Institute on your signal. Hey, boss. I've been hoping you'd stop by. I found your way into the Institute. It's hard to believe the Institute would leave another way in. Yeah, well, it seems the Institute isn't quite as self-contained as they'd like everyone to believe. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river. Brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger. But there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this, or nothing. Breaking through an underwater security grate in high radiation? Sounds like fun. Yeah, I know. But there isn't any other way in. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute. drenched with water is just going to slow us down.
Progress report? Fault is a class 2 stress fracture. Repair protocol cannot be run. Area scan seems... something else. I guess I'm still in one piece. Everybody else made it? Good. So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. Why'd they need to come mess with us? They think they're better than us. They should have read their history. That hasn't ever turned out well. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. If you get that on the reactor, then we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever built. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. Sturgeon, you'd better get to work on this teleporter of theirs. We need that thing running as soon as possible. You pull us back up as soon as we give the signal. And anyone from the Institute who wants out, you let them go, so long as they ain't shooting at you. You got it, boss. Teleporter will be up and running by the time you need it. Now get going.
So this is what it looks like. Man, no wonder they were down here. Get up. See that? Get up! No! What was that? You hear that? Looks like you need to get yourself to the advanced systems area. Only, well, it's locked. I can't override it from here. Looks like the command can only come from the director's personal terminal. You're gonna need to get access to it somehow. to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. 
I'm here to blow up your reactor, Sean. Put an end to the Institute. Well... At least there's no need for guessing games now. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? All the enemies you've created. You can't imagine why I'd be standing here. Perhaps I didn't think to count you among them. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left, then, is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean... If you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me. And I promise I'll protect any survivors to the best of my ability. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just... leave me. Sean? Just... get out. There's nothing. That's it. Like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Thank you for your cooperation. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need.
Authorization one. Why? Why did you call me mom? What? You're my mother. Why else would I call you that? Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, this is just what I need right now. I'm not a baby, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. The only help I need is to get out of here. Now can we please go? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I promise I won't be too much trouble. Attention I'll stay out of your way, and you won't even have to take care of me. So can I go with you? Please! You're not going anywhere with me. You're not my son. But you can't just leave me here. I don't want to die. Please, just think about it for a second. Why should I? It's hard enough taking care of myself up there. I promise I won't get in your way, and I can take care of myself. You won't have to do anything. I can take care of myself. Just don't leave me here. You're not Sean. You're not Sean. You're a robot, made to think you're real. You're just gonna leave me here? I can't believe it! I hate you! All right, Sergeant. We're done. Get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I would, man. But, uh, this kid showed up. Says he's the General's son. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. You're seriously gonna leave that kid? Your own son. Here to burn? Evacuation order issued. He's not my son. He's a synth. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Ain't no limit to how low they'll sink. Relay's ready whenever you are, boss. Shall we? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot me back home. You make sure and hit that button, General. See you on the other side. Please, Mom, don't leave me here. I wanna go with you. Evacuation order issued. That's not happening. No way. You're just gonna leave me here? I can't believe it. I hate you! Thank you for your cooperation. Hey. Time to go, General. This was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. <clears throat> Here's the detonator. Sturgis figured this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again, the way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war.
War never changes. You're one hell of a soldier, you know that? Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So, that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. I did. But there's no way to know how many people got out. I'm sure most everyone got out. Remember. We didn't start this war. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. What? No sunshine and rainbows? Next, you're gonna tell me I'm not getting a pony. <laughs> if I had any ponies to hand out, you'd be first on my list. We could never have gotten here without you, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the men and men are gonna be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory, but soon enough, it's gonna be time to get back to work. So, it appears the Commonwealth is about to enter a new era of peace thanks to you. A new era of peace? What do you mean? The constant paranoia of living in the Institute's shadow vanished the moment you pressed the detonation button. The kidnappings, the fear, and the threat of their technology running amok. All gone, thanks to you. I... <laughs> I don't know what to say. It doesn't matter. What you've done will be felt for years to come. It's destined to become a part of history. A tale of a lone soldier who made this land a better place. A place where people no longer have to live in fear, but instead live in peace. And even though you elected to carry out the mission with the Minutemen at your side, the end result is the same. The Commonwealth is safe. Because you chose to take a leap of faith and make a difference. Ad Victorium. The Institute didn't leave us any choice, General. It was us or them. Uh. We all did what we had to. I'm glad it's over, but I'm glad you're here. I've been tinkering with this laser musket. I made a few custom modifications to it that I think you might like. Here, take it for a test drive. Dude, maybe you can check out my hot rod next. Don't I wish. I was born a couple of centuries too late, I guess. <laughs>